Let's talk about gear lockers. If you have a 2011 and up Super Duty with certain options, you can have a rear differential locker. You pull the 4x4 knob or push a button next to the knob and it locks the rear axle so that both tires will spin at the same time. So if you get off camber or you're in the mud, you're not going to have a one wheel peel. On the front, you do have hub lockers where you can lock and engage the axle shafts, but those don't do anything with the differential. So that front differential is still an open diff. On the recent trimmer models, they do come with a limited slip front differential, but it's not a true locker. And if you really get that front end in a bind, you're still going to have one wheel with power, one wheel that's not spinning. So on a Super Duty four-wheel drive system, you'll notice you have selectable hubs up here. This is a secondary override. So if your vacuum system on the automatic 4x4 has lost vacuum due to a bad seal or a broken hose, this is just an override to engage the hub. This just allows that axle shaft to supply power to the wheel. If you have a very base level Super Duty, an XL that has the shifter on the floor, older year models, you probably don't have auto automatics, you'll have to manually engage these anytime you use the 4x4, but it doesn't do anything to lock that front differential.